Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Holland. Um, in the Salami Survival video, I showed you uh, a bit of the modified Enzo. And I'm going to show you some more, show you the modifications and also tell you why I did them. If you have a look at this one, this is a stainless steel version, it's my girlfriend's knife. And we used it in Sweden uh, extensively. It was very damp, wet, rainy. And what you see is the gap here. It came over time but I don't like gaps here because it's a build up for dirt etc. I put some glue in there already, I have to do it once more probably. And then the knife will be fine again. So this is a um, normal Enzo you buy from uh, Brisa. This one is a uh, black micarta handles. It has a D2 uh, blade. It's bead blasted like the like the stainless version is. And it also has the pins on the second hole and the last one. Well, there's another hole here. That's the lanyard hole because all those blanks they come pre-drilled. A hole here. A hole here. A big cutout here, a hole here, lanyard hole, and then four more small holes. So what I did was decided to use the other holes. So I used the hole in the front, the hole in the back, and at the lanyard hole. Also what I did was cut off the blank a bit. I just rounded all the curves because I think it feels better in my hands at least. If you look at the original one you see it's quite pointy here and here and I don't really like that. It's okay but well it could be better for my hands at least and I have medium to large hands. Also, the point here, I removed this, made it flat. For me, it's better to choke up the blade. I used the uh, black uh, liners, and also because of my reduction of the uh, handle and the reduction of the blank, I cut off a bit of the length of the the handle, actually. Not much, but sufficient, and I do really like it. I round it off here, also. So here it's a bit rounded off, here it's a bit rounded off, and I really like that. It has a great feel in my hand. Reverse grip, like with the chest lever grip, normal grip, the power grip, etc., etc. Even like this. Well, it's not for bushcraft by the way. I used a really strong glue, it's a industrial strength glue, uh, epoxy glue. I used a lot all the, the gaps in the skeletonized uh, blade. I totally filled them up with glue. So this is a one piece construction actually now. Inside there's no holes left, everything is glue or liner or handle G10 orange. So during my using this knife, because this one I made as a using knife, I will maybe modify the handle a bit more, maybe make it a bit more curvy or maybe just leave it alone, I haven't decided yet. And uh, when I I'm totally satisfied with the handle also. I will make, uh, I'll try to make a Kydex sheet for this one. Because I really like the Kydex sheets. The leather is okay, but Kydex is better. So these are the modifications for this Enzo Trapper. And I did explain why I made them. Okay, if you want to buy an Enzo Trapper, sure do. They are great knives. Scandy to zero grind. Well, actually, this one has a secondary bevel now because I made it. Because when you buy it, it's a Scandy to zero. 
three and a half millimeters thick. O1 steel, this one, D2 steel, this one, AUS 8 stainless steel, this one, they all perform well. So, a big cheers for Enzo and a big cheers for the possibility to make your own handle and your own adjustments because you can buy the kits and whatever you need. Okay, have fun and take care. Bye bye.